Oh, thank God, the grind's finally over. Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be sharing my favorite farming spot for Chapter 14 in Final Fantasy VII Remake. With this farming method, I was able to gain over 3,600 plus XP, 200 AP, and 3,600 gil, all under 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Before we get started, we'll need to make some preparations. First off, you're going to want to equip Cloud with as much strength as possible. No other stat really matters for this farming method except having as much strength as possible. My go-to weapon for Cloud was the Hard Edge since it naturally comes with a high strength value and numerous attack power nodes. Materia slots are your second must purchase for his weapons and then whatever you like. You'd like as many materia slots as possible, so you could farm up levels on numerous nodes. Next, we have Barret and his trusty Gatling Gun. Once again, you're going to be purchasing as many attack power nodes and materia slots as possible. The only exception though is you must buy the overcharge damage boost. His main purpose in this farming method is to be swapped out, press that triangle button, and delete those HP bars. Lastly, we have our favorite girl, Tifa. She's surprisingly going to be our caster in this farming method. If you have the Mithril Clause, I suggest you buy the magic 20% boost, as you'll only be casting magic once with her, and you'll get the full value out of it. If you decide to go with the Sonic Strikers though, then you should buy the Thunder Boost node, because you'll need it. Same rule applies with Tifa. Buy as many magic attack power nodes and materia slots as you can. As for materia setup, you're going to want either fire or blizzard with elemental materia and a connected materia slot and a level 2 first strike on cloud. Everything else is free for you to put whatever you want to level up. Barret is just here to hold materia for us. He doesn't need anything specific, so just put whatever you need to level up with him. Tifa, however, will need the magnify material with a Thundaga and a maxed out first strike. Anything lower and it'll just mean you'll have a slower run until you get levels for your material. One character should have the AP up with whichever material you need leveling in a connected material slot. Now that we have everything set up, let's head over to the Collapse Expressway and get started. Actually, I forgot something. You'll want to keep buying Triple Slash. Thundaga and Maximum Fury so you save time from having to constantly menu these actions. It'll help you save a lot of time if you actually do. I just bind mine to uh, L1 and Triangle and I just kept pressing that and the mobs would die so easy. Oh also this method does pay for itself 12 times but if you find all three chocobos it'll actually be 100% profit, so I suggest you do that before you start this grind. So our first pack is coming up and it's really simple. A triple slash should be able to kill all of them and if you're lucky it just takes one cleave because they'll all be packed up together. Same thing applies for the second pack that you're about to come. You just hope they're all together. One triangle, bam. See like that? Easy. You would say that. Okay, so this next part is pretty RNG on whether they are stacked or not. And you just cross your fingers that they are. I do a Tandaga with Cloud and then I swap over to Tifa and do hers too. And sometimes they don't die right away, so I swap to Barret and use his overcharge just to finish them off. This is a simple triple slash. The next part, you can get lucky or unlucky. Kind of like right there, I got unlucky, so I had to also swap to someone else and kill them off. Most of the time though they are right next to each other so triple shash is all you need. This one I swap to Barret no matter what and I use his overcharge to make sure they're dead as quick as possible. This one's simple, triple slash and just go down the ramp.
this next part right here is where they might live. So what I do is triple slash, swap to Barret, do his overcharge, swap to Tifa, do her Tundaga. And usually they're close enough that Tundaga kills them all. But right here I was unlucky, so I had to also swap back to Barret and use his maximum fury. That was a really bad RNG, but I'm just showing you this since sometimes that happens. But for the most part, the Undaga with Tifa's cleave with the Magnify should finish them all off and you're good to go. That'll happen to you most of the time too. <laughs> They're right next to each other. This part, I like to walk up a little and then do the triple slash because uh, sometimes Barry gets uh, teleported behind a wall and when I swapped him, it's just shooting the wall and you're losing time there. So up here is the last mob of the run. All you need to do is a triple slash and GG, you're done. You just keep following this path to the end, it'll take you back to a small town where you could heal up, sell items, and rinse and repeat because there's a choco porter right there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I hope it was helpful. If it is, please leave a like and a subscribe for future videos. If you have a better farming method, I'm all down to hear it. Please leave in the comments below. Alright, have a nice day guys. Bye.